What I like about this activity is that it's going to ensure that I get outside at least once every day. I'm going to try something different today. On these dreary days, it's especially challenging to get outside and be active. I think it's important to get outside. So, don't spend all of the days in front of the computer screen or in front of your TV watching Netflix and that sort of thing. Try to get outside, try to walk. Anyway, I figured I'd make another mini vlog for today's assignment. Very, very simple. All you need is the outdoors, a pencil, something to draw with. I have a sketchbook here, but absolutely any kind of paper will work. You want to have some kind of a backing on that paper. If you get like a book, put the piece of paper on top of the book so you have a hard surface to draw on, that'll, that'll be helpful. And, and then you want to get outside and you want to try and find preferably a tree, but really it could be any plant that hopefully will be growing as things warm up. We're at that point in the spring where things are just starting to warm up and the plants are just starting to come out of hibernation, which is pretty cool. So you start to see these little buds uh, start to form on, on the ends of tree branches. Okay, so this is a Japanese maple that uh, I actually transplanted from my backyard a few years ago, put it in the front yard. And I'm looking at this right now, and, uh, and this is just starting to bud. With this camera, you can't see the buds, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my cell phone here. We'll go from camera one to camera two. So those are the buds on the Japanese maple. In a couple of weeks, those are gonna bloom. In fact, in a couple of days, they're gonna, they're gonna change. Actually, by tomorrow, these buds will look different than they look today. And they'll look a little different the day after that, and the day after that, and the day after that. I got another tree over there. Let's go take a look at those. So you can see those buds are a little bit different in form. They don't look particularly pretty, at least not yet. What I'd like you to do for this assignment is uh, just Go up to one of the, these little buds, or you can do a couple of them if you want, and I want you to sketch them. And then ideally, I'd like you to come out and draw the same one day after day after day. Just observe how it changes. Observe how it grows. So we have to tag the, the bud that we're, that we're gonna draw. So in this case, I got a little bit of tape. You can get a string, a ribbon, anything that you can wrap around one of the branches loosely so that you'll know which bud you're you're trying to draw. So I got a little bit of this electrical tape. I'll put it around this one right here. I'll take my sketchbook. I'm going to start drawing this. A couple things I'll say about this is that it's so much more important that you are out here looking at the plant than making a great drawing. Just be out here, just be observing. Just be hearing the birds, listening to the breeze. All of these things are so much more important than your ability to draw. You might be asking yourself, what does this have to do with technology? Why, why are we making drawings? This is an art class. Why are we making drawings like this in a technology class? And my answer to that is that technology often requires us to be good observers. Observers of the natural world so that we can apply that understanding and knowledge to the human-made world. So by, by knowing how living organisms work and understanding their structure and having the ability to look at something and represent it visually in a, in a drawing, these are all foundational skills for any technologist, any designer. And so by coming out in nature and drawing it and observing it and studying it, you can, uh, you can hone those skills. So whether it's then designing a new piece of medical equipment or designing a, a building, having the ability to represent it and draw it is, is something that's gonna be very beneficial. So there you have it. There's my sketch of the, uh, of the plant and I'm gonna make sure that I put the date on it. So today's date is March 30th. I happen to know that this is a Japanese maple. So I'm gonna just label it. The sketch probably took me about five minutes to do. If I miss a day, not a big deal. But do your best to come out here each day just for a little bit, make a quick sketch, label it. You're gonna see the transformation. It'll be interesting. For this exercise, it's really more about noticing things. 
things and I, and I want you to just make observations about some of the plants around your property. And again, in times like these, if nothing else, it gets you outside of the house. And that's a good thing. Well, I really hope you enjoy drawing these things. I hope it brings you as much joy as it brings me. I can't wait to see your drawings. Good luck. Thank you.